Okay, this is about the power property, and all we've got to do is take the power of the argument uh, right here, and we just throw it in the front, and that's what it has the equivalent to here. So uh, very, very easy. Um, so on this one, uh, when we're going to condense it, we're going to make it look like um, we're going to throw anything in front of the log into the power. When we expand it, we take the power down and throw it in front of the log. All right, so 13, we're going to condense this one. So very simple, take the 5, put it up here. We get log base 4, uh, 2 to the 5th power. And then we can simplify that, and that'd be log base 4 of 32. All right, um, same thing here. Um, take the 7, throw it in the power, log base 2, x to the 7th power, and that's it for that one. All right, one third doesn't change anything. Log base, uh, common log of eight. But this can be to the one third power. And basically the one third power is the same thing as log of the cube root of eight, okay? Which is a two. So common log of two. All right, so expanding it, take the power, throw it in front, seven log base two <clears throat> of eight. Done. Uh, this one's a little tricky because we have this whole thing, x minus 1. We'll take all of that and put it in front. So we have 3 times x minus 1 times the log of 4, common log of 4. Okay, uh, we can distribute the 3. So we get 3x minus 3. Put that in parentheses because it's still multiplied to the log of 4. And that'll be it for that one. <clears throat> Um, or you could write it this way, 3x log of 4 minus 3 uh, log of 4. There we go. All right, next one is the square root of w. So again, let's just rewrite this log base 7 of w to the 1 half. So now there we have a power. I'm going to take this power throw it in front of the log, so we get one half the log base seven of W. And that's it.